be good defensive team. Uh, Bakersfield is, is known for that. And I think for Santa Barbara, they kind of get back on track. That's where they're going to have to create their identity is on the defensive end tonight. Our starting lineups will start with Cal State Bakersfield, brought to you by Ontario International Airport. The Ontario International Airport, a proud sponsor of the Big West. And here are your starters. It's Higgins, Mark, McGee, Okereke, and Stevenson for Cal State Bakersfield. For the Gauchos, it will be Josh Pierre-Louis, Cole Anderson, Mattia Bellic, Johan Traore, and it will also be A.J. Mitchell. So there are the starters. And we are underway with basketball as Pierre-Louis gets it out to Belich for three. And that needs a bounce just before the shot clock. And the rebound pulled down by Tom Mark. Opening possession, a very good shot. A wide open three. Uh, didn't quite get it there. A little short. Here is Higgins. Nice pass to Mark inside. That was well defended. Mark got it back and scored. And Bakersfield leads it two to nothing. In the paint point to start. That was just really good execution of the play. They got the ball where they wanted to. Oh, there we go. Johan, oh, way to draw the foul. And our, our keys to the game there, limit the turnovers, guys. Stay hot from the field. And the Gauchos shooting 51% from the field, yeah. OJ. And, and that's the big part is because they dominate in the paint. The Gauchos have to get back to doing what they do and, and establish themselves as one of the best teams in the Big West as, as in the paint. Points. And for them, it starts with their big fella. He's got to be dominant from, the, from the, the jump. Higgins had a tough time coming across the smallest player on the floor. It's 5'10", trying to guard a dunk yeah. from a 6'10 guy. So he did a good job, but mm -hmm. did get a foul. Yeah. You don't want your leading scorer to be in foul trouble. So that's probably not going to happen again. Treori, a 54% free throw shooter, misses on the first. And gets the second. Rod Barnes, he has quite a basketball resume. The head coach for Cal State Bakersfield in his 13th season with the Roadrunners was a, the head coach at Ole Miss, you guys. And that's where he played college basketball as a very good guard. Here's a three on the way, and that is good by McGee. And McGee can really shoot a career. He's shooting almost 39% from the three and that's the guy they have to continue to, to watch out for for all night yeah, he's, he's their main three-point shooter yep Oops. and anderson throws this away jump shot into a pass is not what they're looking for There's stay on the floor tonight. look for your shot but stay on the floor that is a pet peeve of yours isn't yeah. it when they leave their feet it is a turnover <laughs> most of the time or when they leave the floor actually yep. but when uh, Matias said such a great sprint for Cole. He's got to come off. He gets open. Look, shoot that. Yep. Cal State Bakersfield up 5-1. to one. Here is McGee with a jumper contested by Anderson. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Gauchos. But Joe Pasternak in his seventh season, one of the best coaches in America for UCSB. He has had five 20-plus win seasons and one 17-win season. And this year, they're 8-6. and six. Here is a baseline jumper way off the mark by Stevenson, and the Gauchos the other way. Good inside position, Yo Johan. Now finish that. Ah. Nope, couldn't do it, and Mark no. the rebound. Went off, went up off balance. Yeah. I would like to see him use that left hand. He got he got the big fellow right where he wanted, but go ahead and use that left hand. There's a screen set out on top by Okereke. And the ball loose inside and traveling on Cal State Bakersfield. Yeah, he threw it to himself, and you can't do that, nope. of course. The Gauchos has got to weather the storm of Higby. They know he's going to be aggressive all night. He's going to take yep. all kinds of shots. He shoots 42% from the field, so he's not really scared about, you know, missing shots. So that's the guy that they're just going to have to continue to hound and put multiple bodies on. And down inside is Treori. Nice pass by A.J. Mitchell. Great pass. I want to see more of that action throughout the game. AJ and Johan in the pick and roll action. See how they defend it. Very nice pass. Get it up by the rim. So all he had to do was go catch it and put it in. Ben Stolzberg getting ready to come in for UCSB. Here's Stevenson Great job, on a Way drive. To He's ball. tied up. And that will stay with Bakersfield. Yep. No. Ariel Bland and Stolzberg come in for the Gauchos. Yeah. Belich and Anderson go out. 
Yeah. And Bakersfield's going to bring on five new players. The second unit. Yeah. Second unit is right. Cancelaris comes in. He's number 55. Nassim Gaskin, 6'4 guard. He wears number five. And then Ugnus Yarushevichus is in. He wears number 21. Joe Pasternak way out on the floor here. When and you also sub Don five guys like that, uh, sorry, Jerry, when you sub five, you got to match up. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah. It's like a hockey line change, coach. Yeah, it sure was. Dolph Pinopio is in the game as well. Here is Cancelaris inside with a good move and he scores with the right hand good strong move kessler has got walked him down got to his spot was right over the top of ab modestus cancelaris is from lithuania he's a transfer from creighton and the gauchos almost turn it over here is a tie-up and it will stay with uc santa barbara alternate possession you know how that came about. Orlando, you probably don't even know this. It came about because officials could not throw the ball up straight. Really? And so the alternate shot, I was on the rules committee Is when they right? changed it. Wow. Yeah, they couldn't get in there with the big guys and throw it up to make it an equal yeah. chance. So we went alternate shot, and that takes care of the yeah. having to throw it up. But that's why the rule was changed. Oh, okay. Interesting. But Look, you learn something new every day, huh, Jerry? Absolutely, OJ. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Jason Fontenet comes in for Josh Pierre Louis. There is Jason. All you got to do is watch a pro game. They still throw it up in the pros, and they can't throw it up straight either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the easiest thing in the world to no. do, I would imagine. No, when you got two big guys trying to jump. Yeah. Seven to three, Roadrunners early in this one. Keep it moving. Stolzberg uh, down inside to Bland, oh, who's in nice. the game. No baskets oh. on the floor. Nice pass inside, huh? Really, Into the paint. Really nice pass. Good dribble penetration for, for Ben to be able to get two feet in the paint and get that ball to A.B. Now, are they going to count it or? No shot. And the foul is going to be on Modestus Cancelaris. He's the second leading scorer and a good player off the bench. Here's AJ to inbound, and that one's kicked. Gauchos will do it again. Telegraphed. Bakersfield is the second leading uh, scoring team off the bench in the Big West this year. Yep, you can see why they put all five guys coming off the bench. Schoesberg will step back for three, and that's short. Goes off to the left side. Fontenet saved it. And now here come the Roadrunners with Gaskin up into the front court. Cameron Wilbon is number 22, and he's got the basketball. Coach Barnes yelling out, swing it. Here's a floater in the paint, no good. And the rebound comes down to Yaroshevichis. Consolaris, another offensive rebound. rebound, and that one's out of bounds. Three offensive rebound. rebounds in the first four minutes of the game. And that'll bring us to a media timeout. Five. Giordano, he is ill and at home watching. Okay. Pete, get well soon. We love you and hope everything goes well. Get Absolutely. Well soon, Our best to Pete. And uh, Gerd is here. I saw Gerd. But Pete, uh, thoughts and well wishes with you. Here is a full court press by Bakersfield. And now inside, the pass actually off target and a turnover. Right idea, just a little yep. off. Yep. You want to beat the, the team down the court, get numbers like that, but you got to make good passes. Absolutely, Coach. Pick and roll for yes. Bakersfield. Gaskin and post up inside off that roll. This is Wilbon with it. And the right baseline jumper is good. And that shot by Yarushevichas. Yeah, so they're back in that they're back in that two two one press. Now they gotta advance it. Nine to three Cal State Bakersfield. Somebody gotta get over for him. 
Oh, man, is. Bakersfield is swarming in the energy they're playing with. You can hear it from their bench. Here's Josh Pierre-Louis now down play. inside to Schulzberg. Nice extra pass Great to Vlad. And Ariel slams it down. Great play, man. He heady play. Knew he didn't have the shot, but knew where his man was and made the right play. Yep, and he was on the floor. Nice pass. Coach is going to remind you, stay on that floor. Stay <laughs> on the floor. Here is a dribble drive, and that Another shot Another offensive is, rebound. Shot was missed by Gaskin, and he puts it back up and in. Yeah. <laughs> offensive rebounds, man. That's going to be the, the key to this game tonight. So far, it is. Yeah. The Gauchos have a seven-game winning streak against Cal State Bakersfield. They're seven and one all time. Pierre Louis pass knocked away, intercepted. Another turnover on the Gauchos. Here is Wilbon on the right baseline, cut off there by Fontenet. Pierre Louis has to shoot that ball. He's wide open, right in the middle. Yeah, if you're not going to shoot that, put that up there where the big fella can go get it. Yep. He put that at the eye level of the defense. Wilbon. Left side to Consolaris, back to Wilbon. Five on the shot clock. Wilbon gets in, got right by Fontenet, and scores. And Joe Pasternak wants a 30-second timeout. Joe not happy at all. It's 13 to 5. Cal State Bakersfield will keep it right here. Bohan, AB, they have to be super aggressive on the boards because those little guards are coming in there to poke things away and give them second chance opportunities. All right, let's watch the uh, uh, offense against the press. It's a 2-2-1 zone press and more of a nuisance press they don't double up they don't double anybody yeah. but if you're tentative against it you'll never get layups here's now, there's josh a layup. and that's a there's great a play josh pierre louis for the gauchos superman flying through the air and that fell on cameron wilbon not tentative right orlando not tentative at all coach as soon as he caught it he knew exactly what he was doing put his head down and go to the rim right and that against, here comes the first team back yeah. for Cal State Bakersfield. Okay, so I see what they're doing. They're going five in, five out, huh? Well, except for Higgins, he was in a little earlier, yeah. so he's, that time it was four in. But, uh, and here's Evans Capruto coming in for the Gauchos for Ariel Bland. There is Capruto talking to Pierre Louis. It's good to see the Gauchos attack the bucket when yeah. people trying to guard them 94 by 50. Yeah. Uh, but the Gauchos have to keep people off the boards if they're going to get back in this game. Josh is 63% free throw shooter. Missed it. And Capruto the rebound for UCSB. Here's Bellich. There you go, Capruto. Skip pass in the corner. Anderson three. No good. Bellich wrestling Mark for the rebound. And it's a jump ball. And the possession arrow will favor Cal State Bakersfield. Yep. That's what I like to see. That, that we got to do it to them. You got to yep. attack the glass. And I love to see that energy from Matia out there. One more look at it here, guys. And I'm glad that Belich didn't get whistled for a foul because it looked like he was over the back a little bit. Yeah, he, he definitely could have been called for the for the foul, but you know the refs. It seems like they're early. They're letting these guys play. Roadrunners are coming off of, and that's wow. a foul on Bellich way out on top. The Roadrunners are coming off of an 11 point loss at home to Hawaii last Saturday. And you guys, they they look like they're on a mission so far tonight. Yes, they're playing very hard and they're really going to the board. And they're executing pretty well to get pretty good shots. This team is hungry. I mean, they're, you know, they were like Santa Barbara last week when they went up to Cal Poly. They were searching for a win. This team is still searching for their first one of the, of the Big West uh, conference play. Yeah, that's going to be against UCSB. So the fouls starting to mount against the Gauchos. That is on Cole Anderson. That's his first second team foul on the Gauchos. A lot of contact. Nothing wrong with that, as long as it's legal contact. Here's Higgins, a very, very good guard. As Rod Barnes, right out in front of us, the great head coach for Cal State Bakersfield. Here's a jumper that's missed in the corner by McGee. The Gauchos on the run. Josh Pierre-Louis stops as he runs into the defense of Higgins. And this pass deflected out on the skip pass. It'll be a Gaucho possession on the far side. I would like to see Josh, when he gets to the ball in that post right there, he's got the smaller Higgins on him. Take his time and, and get a, a good quality shot, because I think he could do that 
He, and, and the athlete Josh is, he could get any type of shot that he wants. Johan Treori in for the Gauchos. Evans Caputo goes out. And Modestus Consolaris in for Cal State Bakersfield. 13 to 7, Roadrunners, 12.44 left first half. They got the little guy guarding Mitchell. They're in a 2 3 zone now, so the middle should be open. Fontenet for three out of the corner, needed the roll, didn't get it. McGee the rebound. So it's passing that one with the four guard lineup right now. Let's see if the Gauss can continue to push the momentum a little bit, but as well get on the glass and rebound. Consolaris misses. Uh, Josh Pierre Lurie high for the rebound, the outlet to Mitchell. Here's Treori with it on the left baseline. Turns, fires, misses, rebound, Mark. Don't settle, big fella. Yep. Put your back to the basket and do what you do. Coach, you want a paint touch, don't you? Yep, you want to get the ball in deeper if you can. And uh, that was an open shot. Yeah. It was 12 feet, but yeah. you want to get a dunk if you can. Yeah. Ben Stolzberg getting ready to come back in for the Gauchos. And here is McGee, Marvin McGee the third. 6'4 guard from Atlanta went Josh. to Georgia Tech and there's a basket. Ball was outside the free throw line extended and Josh was still behind the post. Yeah. I know they've been working on their defense. I know the coach is probably telling them to get in front. Josh Pierre-Louis, another great move and a basket for the Gauchos. 15 to nine, Roadrunners with the lead. Man-to-man -man defense by the Gauchos and of course Roadrunners have changed defenses a couple of times. Full court into the zone, full court into the man. On top is McGee. Go to work. Coach yelling, go to work. Here's a baseline drive and a whistle and a foul on the Gauchos. Stevenson was fouled on the play, and that brings us to immediate timeout. That foul on Josh Pierre. A nice look at Josh Pierre. Louise worked there on that replay. Josh Pierre-Louis is trying to become, guys, the first Gaucho ever to appear in three straight NCAA tournaments. He's averaging 11 points, 5.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists this year, Coach. That's pretty good. Inside, and that's Stevenson. Well, that is really good. And, you know, hopefully Josh does have that opportunity, but the Gauchos is going to have to pick it up, uh, pick it up the rest of this uh, conference play to, to have that opportunity. And that's going to stay with UCSB. Very active uh, defense coming on up. So, yeah. but if you get it up, you're going to get two on ones in behind them. But you got to get the ball up into the paint. Yeah. So, so Coach Barnes, he's over here. He's rotating, you know, the guys in, in and out because he wants them to ramp it up defensively. And that's right. been one of his biggest uh, calling cards uh, as a coach. Is his teams are always one of the better defensive teams. Cotton at the free throw line. Back to Schulzberg. His shot blocked by Mark, but Ben got it back. Ten on the shot clock. Schulzberg, three. And that's short. Rebound, Bland, and a putback. Nice play, coach. Very nice. He was uh, up really good and timed it excellent to get that second shot. Good offensive rebound. Yeah. Screen on the ball. Higgins comes off of it and looks... That time he kicked it to the corner for a travel. Stevenson traveled. But he's a problem. Higgins gets into the paint. He's, got, he's shifty, and he hits guys for good open shots. Schulzberg goes out, and Anderson back in for UCSB. That's three turnovers now, you guys, on Bakersfield. And the Gaucho's trailing 17 to 11, 10 15 left first half. Here is Anderson with it. On top to Mitchell, gets a screen from Traore. And AJ, he's got that great step back jumper, missed it here, tipped up, no good. Rebound Traore, shot blocked, and that was blocked by Consolaris. Great, great shot, he got to the spot he wanted to, but just couldn't finish it. Great and defense. And the Gauchos returned the favor with a blocked shot. Inside, Traore, uh, Consler has tied him up, and here comes Bakersfield on the run. Higgins. And now Consler on the baseline left, gets the roll. 
man, these Rams are so friendly to these guys early in, early on. See if the gaps can give you good, good possession here and get a quality look. Bakersfield team looks like they're pretty good coach in transition. And we're gonna get another look at it again here. As AJ went down. Coach yelling out signs. Gaskin has it on the right side. Gaskin goes in and throws it away to Bland. Jump in the air and pass. You Guaranteed. don't like those, Coach. Here's, Here's Anderson. Anderson. Three. Uh, no good. Rebound bad. comes down to Nassim Gaskin for Bakersfield. Good open shot by yeah. Anderson. Yeah. A great push by A.B. to get it down court and create that opportunity hey, for Cole. What do you think you're doing? Hey, Tom, get up. Tom, get up. Fortunately, Coach Barnes, Coach, made that a PG yes, version. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Higgins on top. Long three over that, Mitchell, way short. That, that's the shot you want. Big yep. issues, 27% from the three. And so the Gautam is going to live with that all day. Here's Bland. Move it. Going against Consolaris Bland. Consolaris blocked it. Beautiful block that time by Modestus. And now a turnover by the Gauchos. And Bakersfield turns it right back over. Man, very fortunate for Santa Barbara to get that back. Yep, not reading the defense real well. That's a good move there. Yeah. And a whistle against the Roadrunners here brings us to immediate timeout. Anytime you're getting your shot blocked, Orlando. The Gauchos are just getting themselves in trouble because they're turning the ball over and, and Bakersfield being able to capitalize on that. All right, Coach, what stands out? To you right now, Coach Pim. Well, they're playing quicker than we are, and we are not reading the defense. We've had too many shots blocked already that we don't read the defense. Five seconds. And another turnover on the Gauchos here. They executed for a layup on their end line out of bounds, and we can't get it in at our end. Six turnovers on Santa Barbara. Yeah. Both teams are, aren't taking care of the ball relatively well, but Bakersfield is actually capitalizing on, on their opportunities with it. And that's going to go against that Cal turnover? State Bakersfield. Another turnover. Did he, did he go out of bounds? Six to five on uh, turnovers. Okay. He, he went out of bounds, out of bounds and he was right, the coach. first guy to touch it. So oh. A.J. Mitchell back to the Gauchos, as you see there. Okay, see what the Gauchos are trying to do defensively here. 1911 Bakersfield. Corner, Bakersfield's AJ. hedging. Mitchell to Caputo, and he missed it. Bland gets the rebound. Missed it. And those are bunnies. Bakersfield gotta comes those. away with it. Got to finish those. Oh. Two good looks at it, Coach. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Those you got to make. That yeah. was a great pass. Got to make those. Yeah. But when your best player spoon feeds you those, you got to make those for him. And here's a drive. That shot off the mark. Josh Pierre Louis the rebound. Here comes AJ Mitchell up the left side. Mitchell too hard off the glass, and the rebound comes down to Cal State Bakersfield. Yaru oh, yeah, No communication. It was four or five, but nobody communicated about who had who. Yep. You got to talk on there. defense. For yeah. so the transition, there is no man. You just got to. Yeah, nice Mitchell finish, on the hard AJ. drive. Ooh. Good finish. 21 high 13. The, high over the big fella. That's a 6 5 point guard that yeah. can finish in the deep. Yeah. That's why the pro scouts love him, huh? Yeah. Yep, he's going to he's going to need to continue. Drive. To be, great block, uh, AB. drive is blocked. Yeah. Mario Bland on the block shot. Nice. Bland nice. bounce pass inside, and this is a whistle against Bakersfield. Team foul number five. You know what I love, runners. You know what I loved right there, coach. When they got across half court, the ball never hit the ground. It was that hitting everybody. Yeah. yeah. No. And they hit, they were about to get a quality look, but he got fouled. Gouchers need more of that. 
Yarushevichis on the foul there. As Bakersfield brings back in Marvin McGee, the third. Bakersfield is very active defensively with their feet, and they're really giving the Gauchos trouble to get open shots. AJ to inbound. Now to Treori. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 18 seconds. Here's Stolzberg back in the lineup for the Gauchos. Here's your dribble. And Pierre Louis down the lane, lays it up and in. Boy, Josh is really, really going to the basket with great success tonight. If you could jump like that, Jerry, you'd take it to the basket too. <laughs> yeah, you could barely fit a credit card under my feet when I jump. <laughs> Good help there by the Gauchos. One of the things they've been working really hard at is to help and recover defense. This is McGee now to Mark, and Mark never hit the rim. That should be a shot clock violation. Yeah, it, it is. is. Great defense of possession. See what they do, Orlando, is they use the clock. They don't take frivolous shots most of the time. They don't read the defense always perfectly, but yeah. Bakersfield's always used the clock pretty well. Yeah, and they're not a team that's going to take a high volume of threes either. No. So they're they're going to be able to get the shots that they want. I think that's what Coach Barnes is looking for. Here's Josh going to the baseline. And that one was blocked by Gaskin. Yeah. Nice play by Gaskin. Wow. That was, that was a hell of a play. Keep two hands on the ball, though. You can fake that shot. Wilbon missed. Plan the rebound. Maybe. Strong rebound. 17 rebounds for Cal State Bakersfield, you guys. They're doing an excellent job on the glass. Here's Mitchell now. AJ has an open oh, shot right baseline. It. Stay with it. Mitchell in the paint, puts it up, no good. Will they give him two? I think they will. There you go. Yeah, he was in the act of shooting, I think. It's yep. having trouble stopping and starting a little bit with those ankles, but he's staying in there. He hangs in there, Orlando, and he's hurting. Yeah. I know he is, but he's, uh, he's still driving the ball. He just can't stop like he would like to on yeah. those ankles. But AJ's, AJ's tough, man. He's been battling all year, yep. and I know he's going to figure it out. You know, that's the that's the game, how it goes, you know. Yep. You have to be able to work through those things, you know, because injuries come up and stuff like that. But, you know, this is such a crucial part of the season, and uh, we, we need them, you know. Stevenson, Okereke, Higgins back in for Cal State Bakersfield. Mitchell is an 86% free throw shooter. There's not much this guy can't do. No. on a basketball court. He is really, really something else. A.J. Mitchell, and what a nice young man off the court. Yeah, he's going to get good. well. He'll get well. You know, he's better every week. He's getting a little bit better. Those ankles still bother him a little bit. Still not 100%, Coach? No, nope, still not 100%. 21-17, yeah. closest the Gauchos have been in a little while. 4.08 left to go here in the first half. Pick and roll. Stevenson high, arcing jumper, no good. And Pierre Louis high for the rebound for the Gauchos. Josh could be such a, ooh, a good, good rebounder because of how athletic he is. He could do that on offensive end as well. McGee the rebound for Bakersfield. Here's Higgins trying to get by Pierre Louis. Josh, one of the best defenders in the Big West Conference. Go back again! Go back again! Higgins looking inside for Okereke, but. Traore was fronting him. Now here's Stevenson. You're down to eight. Seven on the shot clock. McGee steps back from Belich, fires, and hits the three. He's the one guy that can shoot it from yeah. deep, and he just showed us that right there. He's late in the possession. He's tough that way. He's, yeah. He can shoot threes. He can yeah. drive it. That was McGee's 26th three-pointer in 73 attempts this season. So he's good from there. Yeah. Belich bangs into Mark, kicks it back out. 2.54 left, 24-17. Bakersfield, there's Belich, and Mark blocked the shot, but a foul. A strong take. You know, if you take it and you give a shot fake, 
they will foul yeah. every time. But every time. we are trying. Everybody, UCSB will be home on Saturday night against Long Beach State. That is an ESPNU game. And that will tip off at 7 o'clock here at the Thunderdome. The great Roxy Bernstein will have the call. Roxy, one of the best play-by-play -play men in all of the country, in my opinion. And uh, Corey Williams, outstanding color analyst, will uh, accompany Roxy on the broadcast. That's 7 o'clock on ESPNU on Saturday night. Of course, the Gauchos coach hope the fans can come out for the game and pack the Thunderdome. I think people realize that the Roxy Bernstein is Joe Pasternak's brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Does a great job of announcing. He does a wonderful job and a very nice man as well. Here is Higgins. Gautos have done a really good job on Higgins. Yes, the they have. Two. Hasn't scored a basket tonight. That one by Mark wasn't close. Mitchell doesn't have the numbers he'd like. So he'll slow it up. Gaucho's trailing by five. Less than 2.30 remaining here in the first half. Pierre-Louis with six points out to Anderson. Cole leads the Big West in three-point field goal percentage at 42%. Nice entry into the post there. And that one was blocked by Mark, taken down by Mark, and Johan got hit in the face there. Here's Higgins down the lane. A little out of control. Jump in the air and pass. Mark down low against Bland. Puts it up. No good. And good Bland job, gets the rebound. Great job, Cole. Way to tip yep. the area. Cole hip tipped it to him. Good job. There is Josh Pierre Louis inside for a good basket. Control on that drive. Excellent. Great patience and went off too. I like yep. that finish. Yep. And a timeout taken by Rod Barnes. We'll keep it here with 126 left to go here in the first half. Gaucho's down by three. This is as close as you see his feet. And, and yet anybody knows that knows the game. It's all footwork down in there, Jeep. Oh. And faking shots and coming up with the right move. Yep. And he hasn't been doing that, yeah. not tonight anyway. Yeah. Johan Traore, guys, is shooting 63% from the field. That's best in the Big West and 18th best in the country. And, of course, the Gauchos are led by A.J. Mitchell's 20 points per game. Another, Consolaris on a drive. Another oh. offensive rebound. Yeah. So Consolaris on the drive, 26-21, Cal State Bakersfield. And there's a near turnover by... A.J. Mitchell, Stevenson diving for it. Now we've got an injured foul. Bakersfield player. That's Higgins who's Intentional down. Intentional foul. Well, Higgins is hurt, and that foul on Consleris. I didn't even see what happened. Did you guys see it? Yeah, he didn't make a play on the ball. Fontenet in, Stolzberg out for UCSB. You know, got to make the first to get the second, and he can't do it. 50 seconds left. Bakersfield oh with the lead and the ball. Consleris out on top, spinning against Bland. Here's McGee with it. McGee trying to get past A.J. Mitchell. Mitchell knocked the ball yep. away, and they Number call 10. a foul on McGee. Yeah, he fouled him. Rod Barnes is really hot. He is not happy at all, Coach Barnes. Yeah. Wasn't a good possession. He McGee had the ball most of the yeah. time and, and just was dribbling and, and didn't go anywhere. And AJ played great defense and, and took it right from him. That's the ninth foul of the half with 30 seconds left. So another one and one. One and one still. Yarushevich has come back on for. Cal State Bakersfield. So here is A.J. Mitchell, and he's got the first. So Mitchell, three for three from the line tonight. He's got five points. Damn. Josh Pierre Louis leads the Gauchos with eight. Gauchos got to capitalize on these free throws because they haven't been able to shoot the three ball as well tonight. Yep. Haven't really shot the ball well at all yeah. in the first half. Neither team has been yeah. brilliant on yeah. offense. Yeah. Bakersfield's been really good on the offensive boards, though. Yeah. The shot clock and the game clock almost identical. So, Cal State Bakersfield 
effectively can hold for the final shot, Coach. Yeah, they're going to take it, take it down and shoot it with about three or four seconds. Here comes the screen. Gaskin. Screen on the ball. Uh-oh. Bounce pass down low. The shot put up. No good. And that'll do it for the first half. That shot put up by Jaden Alexander, who just came in. And that brings us to halftime here with the Gauchos trailing 26-23. So I don't know which team is going to do it, but I would think both teams would play better offensively in the second half. There you look at the Big West standings. UC Irvine atop the bunch at 4-0. CSUN lost tonight at Davis, so they're 3-1. And, and the Gauchos and Cal State Bakersfield trying to uh, get in the win column here tonight. Same starting lineup here for the second half as we had to, to begin the game. Here's Anderson. Can the Gauchos get a three? They cannot. Not here, and that's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Josh Pierre-Louis. So 0 for 9 from downtown are the Gauchos. Yeah. yeah, he's got to get squared up. He's shooting it a little quicker than the normal rhythm. I think he's just got to take his time, get his feet set, and he'll be fine. Defense on the Gaucho side. Oops. And Cole Anderson picks up a foul guarding Stevenson. You know, but when you're not scoring and you're having one of them rough nights, you know, this is the end where you can really make your impact and, and still find a way to get a win for your team. Yep. Defense and rebounding are the keys, of course. Gaskin with it between the circles. Now dribbles left side. Goes inside to Stevenson, who scores. And it's back to a five-point roadrunner lead. Rod Barnes encouraging his team. 13th year as the head coach. Here is Cole Anderson. He's off the mark. Missed two in a row as Cole to start the second half. Stevenson the rebound. So Bakersfield is trying to find it. A position to get the ball in the post when Cole is guarding yep. somebody. Here's Gaskin now. Boy, Rod Barnes is way out on the floor. And McGee on a hard drive. Blocked by Traore. Blocked by Belich. But Belich is going to be whistled for a foul here. Man. Man, and we'll look at it again here, guys. That looked like it was a lot of ball, to be honest with you. Here's the first block by Traore. Block. Yeah, that's tough. If there was a challenge call in college, I would, yep. probably, I would, I would definitely use that. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a pretty clean block, the yeah. second one, too. Yeah. Stevenson is a 61% free throw shooter for Cal State Bakersfield. These are Bakersfield's first free throws of the night. Yep. Have both teams defended well tonight, guys, or have both teams just shot the ball poorly tonight? No, I think both teams have defended pretty well. And they, uh, in fact, I think I think they've pushed the Gauchos out of their normal spacing and uh, are contesting passes back and forth out in front. And Mitchell for three. That's the first three-pointer of the night for the Gauchos. I love it when I see A.J. being aggressive. And he's yep. aggressive, and there's nobody stopping him. He puts so much pressure on the defense when he when he's looking to, to go get a back. Yeah, when he's healthy, he can drive it too yeah. on almost anybody he, that plays against him. Mitchell now leads the Gauchos with nine points. Stay in front. Stay in front. And they didn't. And oh. Gaskin with an emphatic slam dunk. Said hey now. Clear for takeoff. OJ that got the Bakersfield bench up. Yep. Here's Belich. Now to Mitchell. That's a couple of breakdowns we've seen defensively coached tonight by the Gauchos. Here's Mitchell on the drive. And Traore on the follow. That's exactly what I want to see, big fella. Attack the offensive glass. But great, great job by A.J. Webb putting pressure on the rim. Yep. And then uh, excellent uh, rebound by Traore. Johan with five points. Gauchos trail by three. Screen Okereke. on the ball. Yeah, that's Okereke setting the screen, Coach. He's a big guy, too. Stevenson to the baseline. And he got his own rebound. Yeah. Gauchos give him another possession. 
They had seven offensive rebounds at the half, so they now have eight. Here's McGee now. He'll find Mark, and Mark goes in, blocked by Traore. Out of bounds and to was, Bakersfield with three seconds on the shot clock. And that was really good D by Cole by not fouling, yep. making the guy change the shot, and Johan coming over there to, to come block that. Great job. That Great was good defense. help. Yep. Good help. Here comes Higgins, so Higgins is good, okay. Good to see him good back. To see, good to see that he's not hurt. Yeah. Fontenot is in for UCSB. Oh, they are warning Coach Pasternak to get back. Coach Pasternak was way out near midcourt there. Three on the shot clock. Here is Mark driving in, puts it up, and oh, scores. Oh, way to change. Changed it in the air and finished. Man. Five point Bakersfield lead. They're in that zone. Zone defense. Yep. They pushed the gauchos out. It's spread out way too far, and there should be a lot of openings in it. Uh, and that was knocked out of bounds by Cal State Bakersfield as uh, the gauchos will inbound with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. There is Coach Pasternak in his seventh season with UCSB. 2-3 zone. Traore inside. And that's too strong out of bounds off Stevenson. You know, he's just a freshman. I mean, he's a sophomore by, by uh, school standards, but he didn't play much at Auburn, so we expect a lot from Traore, him. right. Yeah, Traore's going to get better and better. He's just hurrying his shot right now. Six not, on the shot clock. The defense, yep. And Josh Pierre-Louis pass is deflected, intercepted by Stevenson. Here's Higgins. Higgins, and that pass actually hit Stevenson. Now the Gauchos on the break. Traore missed the dunk, but he's fouled on the play, and he hit the backboard standard very hard. Okereke on the foul. He's as okay. Traore's getting up. His pride is hurt. That's all that's hurt there. <laughs> Stevenson deflected his teammate's own pass. Yeah. But he was jumping in the air, probably thinking that Higgins was going to shoot the ball, that he would have a chance to get off the rebound. So just a miscommunication. I don't think he was going to miss many dunks like that. But sometimes when you get hit on the way up, you you just don't get to the rim. You don't get to your spot of dunking. Yeah. Consularis getting ready to come back in for Cal State Bakersfield. Here is Johan on the free throw line, where tonight he's one for two. Alexander also getting ready to come back for Cal State Bakersfield. In that first half, they had all 10 of their guys score. Everybody that played scored at least uh, uh, two points. That's a good team effort on, uh, on offense. So Alexander and Consularis in the game for Cal State Bakersfield. 28 for the Gauchos, 33 for the Roadrunners. And Traore makes one of two. Yeah, 50% is, is not good enough. Yep. Those, those will come back and haunt you in a game that's tight like this. Yep. Johan's got six points. And Bland way out on top to guard Higgins. Gauchos in their man-to-man -man defense. Here's Kotzleris inside, put it up, no good. Rebound Traore. Mitchell ahead. And here is A.J. now on the right side of the paint. Bland oh, on top. It. And they've got a real mismatch with Traore down low. Fontenet on the right side backs it up. Find a way to get it to Johan. Uh, and that's out of bounds. Not a good pass by Josh Pierre-Louis. And that brings us to immediate timeout. Traore was being guarded by Higgins that time. Too. Yeah, that's he was on the line. I think that was a turnover, Coach. Uh, yep. Baker threw the ball. Yeah, it is. I guess it wasn't a touch on that one. It looked like it was from, from where we sit. So the Gauchos with nine turnovers. Cal State Bakersfield also nine turnovers. Gauchos shooting just 30%, 10 of 33. Bakersfield 38.5%, 15 of 39. Also, you're not going to win too many games when you only have two assists, but you're not making shots. Here. It's going to be tough to get assists. Yeah, that's hard. That's right. It's really hard to get assists when the shot's not going in, right? Yeah. 
That foul on A.J. Mitchell, first personal third team foul on the Gauchos. Consularis working against Bland. Offensive foul, he used his uh, offhand. That one missed, but Alexander got poked in the eye here. They are feisty and they uh, all attack the glass. That foul on Ariel Bland of the Gauchos. Team foul number four on Santa Barbara. Wow, four already. Yeah. Oh, man. You hope Alexander's okay. We'll see it again here, guys. See what happened here. Ooh, poked in the Ooh. eye. Oh, yeah, those, those are never fun. That happened to me this week. I thought I wasn't going to be ready for, for game day today. <laughs> well, we're glad you are. <laughs> Alexander is really in some pain over here, it looks like. That's painful when you get a finger in the yeah. eye. Yeah. Rebounding-wise, the Gauchos are being out-rebounded 26 to 22. Yeah. Here's Alexander on a hard drive. Good uh -huh. defense by Belich, who hits the deck. Gauchos have the ball. AJ trying to take over. Oh. Belich, three. The hesitation the threw a shot off. Yeah. He yeah. caught it wide open, let it fly. He did hesitate a yeah. second there, didn't he, OJ? Yeah, he did, he yeah. did. You can't do that. If you're a shooter, you catch the ball and you're open, you shoot it. Let you're it not fly. open, you dribble, drive it, or pass it. Exactly, coach. Yeah. 14 40 remaining in the game in regulation. Gaucho's down by five to the Roadrunners. Consularis now in the corner to Alexander, or Stevenson, I beg your pardon. And this is Higgins. And the step back is no good. Bland high for the rebound. And Stevenson got it back. Took Here it is right McGee, a three, and that's good. Ooh. Took it right away from Bland. And those are always the best threes, too, off the offensive rebound. Mm. And there's the Bakersfield bench rejoicing there. 36-28. Zone Road defense. Runners. Zone defense. See what the Gauchos are trying to get here. The middle man to the high post. McGee has nine points now for Cal State Bakersfield. The Roadrunner bench wanted traveling there on Belich. Here is Mitchell fouled, and he can't get it to go, but he'll get two free throws. They're definitely going to need They need something. The Gauchos need to find a spark somewhere. Hopefully it's with A.J. right here going to the free throw line for two more. It's difficult for A.J. to catch the ball, and, and with the team sucking in into the paint, trying to beat two or three guys yeah. with his condition right now. Mm -hmm. But he's trying. Yep. <laughs> he's, he's, he's really game, there's yeah. no question yeah. about it. Yeah, he's a fighter. He's always going to go out there and lay it on the line for his yeah. team. Yeah. Mitchell now four for five from the free throw line tonight. And here is Fontenet in for Bellich and Treori in for Bland for the Gauchos. Yeah. Got to make those free throws. Yeah. I know we talked about, you know, the Gauchos defense and, you know, you know, if you have a team at 36 points, Right now, in the second half, you'd be like, man, jumping for joy, but yep. you know, we're used to seeing the Gauchos score a few more oh. points than this. That's two free throws. Wow, that's unusual. Yeah. Stevenson, the rebound for Cal State. Bakersfield, Stevenson has five rebounds. Tom Mark leads away with seven. See, they're shortening the game by just taking their time, taking their time, going to the end of each possession, yep. and shortening the game. When you have the lead, you can do that. Yep. And that's what they've been doing. And then they're faking and driving and taking us right to the basket. Stevenson fouled by Stolzberg. Stevenson hit Ben with a nice in and out, just put his shoulder right into his chest to draw yep. that foul. Yeah, look at it again here, guys. That's they gain a little advantage with the drive and then yeah. cause the contact. Yeah. But like you said, Coach, them being able to delay those possessions, draw them out, is really lowering the, the Gauchos to sleep. Yep. So that when they do get the ball, that, that last five seconds, they're able to create a play, and, you know, the Gauchos are on their heels. Right. Yeah, it works both ways. You, you don't, you're behind, you don't, have, yeah. you don't have the ball, and you get a shot, and you're rushing it. You're rushing it. You know, you're not reading the defense. Playing intelligently, playing smart. Exactly, Coach. Stolzberg out for the Gauchos. Ariel Bland back in. Stevenson is one for three at the line tonight with that miss. 
And he's two for four. He's the only one that shot free throws tonight for, for the runner. the two, two, there one press. Yachos averaging 78 and a half points per game. Keep your dribble alive. Take it at the defender and then pass it. Santa Barbara trailing by its biggest deficit, nine points in this one, 37-28. 13 minutes to go. Here's Josh. And Pierre-Louis lays it in. Nice drive to the basket by Superman. Had both hands on the ball that time. He got more control than trying to dribble shoot it with one hand. And Josh is so good when he's decisive and makes that read like, hey, I'm going to the basket and to score. He is so tough to deal with. Higgins, a step back yeah. is good. That's a tough shot. Yeah, that is a tough shot. That's a foul from the side. Here is Treori inside being double teamed, now stripped. Johan's got to stop bringing that ball down yep. to, the, to the defense because everybody's swarming as soon as he gets it in the paint. Consolaris came up with it for Cal State Bakersfield. And now, as Coach Pim alluded to a moment ago, OJ, Bakersfield's just going to start slowing things up. Yeah. Well, uh, they're using their clock. Yeah. And, and uh, as long as they stay eight or nine points ahead, and that's. That's the play to, to make right now. Yep. Yeah, just trying to break into the nine-point lead a little bit. Treori fouled as he went up. And is that on McGee? Let's see. It was two or three guys that fouled him, I think. Yeah. They're really ganging up on him in there, which is smart. Yes. Guys inside. All right, Coach, 39-30. OJ had a little mic problem. Just yeah. go ahead and repeat what you just said. Yeah, Jerry, they're, they're just going to have to step up, be confident, and shoot the ball. You know, they're 0 for 10, but they have so many great shooters out there on their team. They got to step up there with the confidence that, hey, I'm ready for this shot, and I'm ready to make this shot. 0 for 10 from 3. When's the last time you saw that stat line, Coach? Not not oh, very many right. times. No. And, and uh, free throwing is hurting us now, too. We're yeah. uh, 8 for 15 now. Yep, 8 for 15. 11.54 left to go in the second half, and the Gauchos are stuck on 30 points. Mm. Now 31. So they got to do it at this end, and it's going to be difficult because they are waiting and using their time, every possession, using the 30 seconds. Here's McGee. McGee has nine points for Cal State Bakersfield. Higgins twisted his ankle in the first half, but he looks good here in the second half. Baseline drive. McGee dribbles out, fires, misses, rebound bland for the Gauchos. Here's AJ up into the front court. Who's going to take over for UCSB? And now the ball left up there, and the basket is good. It wasn't a slam dunk by Treori, but he'll take it. He got the friendly roll. He got his hands on it. Pretty good pass. Defense, by, they were defending it, though. Yeah. That was a tough shot. Good pass by Josh. 39-33. Gaucho's down by six. And Ariel, a foul 20 feet from the basket. Hmm. This team foul number six already, you guys, on the Gauchos with 10.48 left to go. That's a tough foul because you can't foul out that far. 30 feet away from the basket. You're hedging just to get the ball to go out a little bit, and then you're getting back, and you can't foul out there. Here's that play a moment ago, the basket by Treori. Stevenson back in for Rod Barnes, Cal State Bakersfield Roadrunners. Higgins looking inside. Higgins leads the Roadrunners with 17 points a game. He's only got two tonight. Where's the ball? Three on the shot clock. Higgins has got to have to launch it. He does, and that's way short. That is a shot clock violation. Uh -huh. yeah, that was a bad possession by Bakersfield. The ball has stayed on one side of the court most of the yeah, time. Too, yeah, too many. Not enough movement at that time, but, yep. but it's still the, the effective as far as their possession. It went right to 30 seconds again, and there's only 10 minutes, or 10.27 left. Yep. Cole Anderson in for the Gauchos. There you see Cole. He can get hot from three in a hurry. Mm -hmm. 
Just needs one to go down. Inside, nice pass by Pierre Louis. Traore missed it, and it's tipped up and in, I think, by a Bakersfield player. Well, I think they'll give it to. They'll give it to Bland. Bland. Yeah. I'd love to see a replay of that if we have a, a break here. Maybe he's doing the things that make him so effective. His hustle pl plays are which has helped Gauchos out in a lot of games this year. Yep. Gauchos down by four. Here is Stevenson on a drive. Down by six. And Stevenson makes the layup. Nice drive by Stevenson. And Corey's got eight points. Gauchos ranked third in the NCAA in field goal percentage at 51% per game. But tonight it has been a struggle. Pierre Louis yeah. gets it to Bland. It's on the floor. And it's a Bakersfield possession and a timeout. Josh got his no man's land. He was behind the basket. And yeah. that's a tough pass to put him on the floor. But if, if Bakersfield has found something that they can continue to go with, they're going to try to expose that. So the guys just have to switch with their game plan a little bit. And you see now Anderson is not in the game. The guys are on the defense. So picking up full court. Okay. Bakersfield has two timeouts left, you guys. The Gauchos yeah. have three. And there's a traveling violation in the backcourt. Turnover by the Roadrunners. <laughs> well, I saw the official signal travel. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, traveling. Against the trap, against yeah. the two-time uh, of the Gauchos. Yeah. They put 20 seconds on the shot clock. Did I miss something there? I, I don't get that. I don't think Gauchos have a full shot clock. Here's Josh Pierre-Louis and puts up a wild shot. Kotzleris, the rebound for Bakersfield. Here's Gaskin in the front court. And Stevenson puts it up no good, was losing control of the ball as he went up. And Mitchell, the rebound for the Gauchos. Oh, okay. And there's a foul on Gaskin. Look out, AJ didn't appreciate that. No, they're banging him pretty good there. Um... So Gaskin picks up the foul, his first, fourth team foul on Bakersfield. I don't blame AJ for coming back at him like that. That yeah. was a very obvious bang. Yeah. Josh Pierre Louis is the only player in the game in double figure scoring. He's got 10 for the Gauchos. And Fontenot to the left baseline. And Josh slipped that time, and the ball went out of bounds yeah. off of Josh. It was an indecisive. He thought Jason thought he was going to pop out. Josh was, you know, debating if he was going to cut. Yeah. Just a miscommunication on, on, on their part right there. Eight forty-eight left to go here in the second half. Forty-one thirty-five in favor of. Cal State Bakersfield. I'm not sure what the discussion with the official is here in midcourt. Okay, are they asking that? us about? No, they're just informing yeah. us. That, okay, uh, that's a that's a uh, dead ball situation, and uh, that's why they got the ball back then. Just dead ball. Stepping way out was Ariel Bland there. Here's McGee what? off a screen from Consleris. Good move by yeah. Bland. That's that screen help, off the ball. His like. man back cut. And he traveled, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm. That's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. They don't call that in Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> but that was really, really good execution of, of their offense. Yeah, it sure was. Very patient. And they'll get the, like, like I said, all game. They've been getting the shots that they want. That's the 11th the, turnover uh, on Bakersfield tonight, guys. The Gauchos also have 11. Oh, man. Now they have 12. Got to take care of the ball. Wow. It's tough when you turn it over against a nuisance-type press. They're not even trapping. Yeah. Higgins on top, backs it up. Crossover dribble. Gets away from Josh Pierre-Louis. Missed it. And Stevenson saves it. 
And Bland with the block shot. Stevenson along the baseline. Stepped out and of bounds. And he stepped out. Got your possession. And that brings us to immediate timeout. 7.45 remaining here in the second half. Very low stat here in this game, guys. There's 12 block shots by seven different people. Wow. Very unusual mm. statistic in a college basketball yeah. game. 12 block shots. Johan Traore has two for the Gauchos. Tom Mark has two for Cal State Bakersfield. All right. Let's see if the Gauchos can get something going here. They're being pressured in the backcourt. Got to get it get across, across the line. They're not going to. And a turnover off the pressure. 10 second violation on UCSB. So it will be an inbound for Cal State Bakersfield. They, you got to beat the guy with the dribble and then pass to the open man in the middle. It's simple. Yeah. But they're not getting it done. It just seems like this this press is kind of throwing Santa Barbara <laughs> all out of whack, and they just can't seem to figure it out right now. Well, the middleman's open. You got to get it to the middleman. Inside is Kotzleris, oh, and I think he traveled. No, nope. yeah, he did. Yeah, that uh... man. Santa Barbara's catching breaks. Can they capitalize? Now the middleman. Side man's open that time. Get it back to the middle man. Somebody hit it over. Mitchell's got to hurry. Oh, my goodness. And that's another 10 second that's violation. That's the last time you've ever seen back to back 10 second violations. Oh, man. Mm. I got to be honest with you, OJ. I can't remember the last time I saw back to back 10 second violations. Yeah. You, coach? No. And it <laughs> shouldn't be either if they just execute. There's open people. They got to come back to meet the pass, get themselves available. Those possessions hurt, man. Yeah, that does. That yeah. really hurts it. Full court gives it right back to them. Here's Tom Mark way out. Consularis skip pass here to Stevenson. Stevenson spins, puts it up, no good. Just as the shot clock buzzer went off and bland the rebound and see if the gauchos can respond here get the ball moving good pass by pierre wow. louis into treori who's Man. fouled on the play brutal fouls yeah brutal but why not he's 50 percent free throw yeah. you got to go after him and foul him yeah. that's on tom mark and that's his second Team foul number five on Bakersfield as you look at Joe Pasternak. One more look at this nice pass by Josh Pierre-Louis. Nice entry pass by Josh. And a ball fake would have worked there. Yeah. He'll learn it. He'll mm -hmm. learn it. Yep. It just comes with more and more reps. Yep. Every, every game uh, is, is a notch under his belt. and He's going to continue to get better. Yep. Yep. He is he's in the middle of his first year of playing college basketball. Mm. Free throws, free throws, free throws, free throws. When Higgins is back for Bakersfield, there you see uh, the very talented Caleb Higgins. Want to remind everybody again, UCSB and Long Beach State here at the Thunderdome, Saturday night, 7 o'clock. And that game will be on ESPNU. And uh, Roxy Bernstein, one of the best broadcasters in the country on the call, along with Corey Williams, excellent analyst. Seven o'clock Thunderdome. Hope you can make it out, but if you can't, ESPNU. Here's Higgins. And that one's short. Treori the rebound, so the Gauchos get a stop. Stop. Now you gotta capitalize. This. Yep, you gotta capitalize. Get back, Corey. Get over Schoolsburg dribble between the circles. The gaps. Dribble the gaps. Get inside with your dribble. There you nice. go. The kick. There you and go. here's Mitchell for three. There Got it. Go. I've seen it from the catch. He stepped into that with rhythm and looked very confident shooting. Big top shot, AJ. Good penetration. Uh, yep. Orlando and yeah. then back out again. Uh -huh. Closest yeah. the Gauchos have been in a long time. Gauchos haven't had the lead at all this game, so the Bakersfield has led wire to wire so far. Mitchell with 11 points. Crowd chanting defense. Stevenson to Consularis. His jumper is in and out. Rebound, Stolzberg. Gauchos can tie it with a two, take the lead with a three. Mitchell, he's on MVP. fire. He scores. MVP. He's fouled. It counts. There he is. 
MVP's woken up. Yep. Doesn't surprise me one bit that he's taken over this game. And then he got fouled on the way up by McGee. They need it more than ever right now. Well, now they did need that one, didn't they? And AJ steps to the line with a chance to, to take the lead for the first time tonight for the Galaxy. Yaru Javichus has come back in for Cal State Bakersfield. 41 all, 533 remaining. And the Gauchos cannot wow. take the lead. Well, Stevenson free, the free rebound. Yeah. Santa Barbara has not been good from the free throw line tonight. Gauchos now 9 of 17. Keep talking on defense. Stevenson on the right side. Now to McGee. Seven on the shot clock. Mark driving hard, throws it away. Stolzberg. Here comes Josh Pierre Louis. Josh is fouled in the front court. Team foul number six on Cal State. One and one. Bakersfield free throw or out of bounds. It is one and one. No, that's team foul number seven. I was wrong. One and one, coach. One and one. Mm, that's a tough pass from Marks to the big fellow. Gaskin on the foul. Not a bad foul because Josh was going to slam that through the floor. Yeah. No, he had. That was a good play, yeah. a smart play. Not a, not a bad foul, and you you know you stop the clock, and then yep. you know Gaskin have been shooting the the free throw very well, so give yourself a chance. Pierre least. Louis is 0 for two from the free throw line. He's, He's 0 for three. three as he misses that one. Off Came the right off the side. side of his hand. Yeah. 41 all, 457 left here in the second half. Coach Pasternak, Coach Pasternak near midcourt, yelling out defensive instructions. Gaskin, skip pass, right corner, Stevenson three, rims out, rebound, comes up to Cal State Bakersfield. So another offensive rebound. That's 16 offensive rebounds in the game for Cal State Bakersfield. Gaskin on the drive, scores oh, it. Wow, that was a pretty, pretty late. Giving them way too the, many shots. Way too left. many offensive rebounds. Go! Go! UCSB in the front court. Zone offense, zone offense. Mm. Screen on the ball. Drive the ball, kick it. Mitchell. Driving in, steps through, fouled on the play. He'll get two free throws. And Rod Barnes can't believe it. Well, that's just AJ going to seek a shot. And that's what he does. Even on Bever, so you got to give the defense some credit. Yeah. But the shooting uh, has not been very good. And free throw shooting, they're two for four. Bakersfield is. And the Gauchos are 10 for 20. And here's Mitchell, who's four for seven from the line tonight, makes the first. Gaucho's down by one. It's gonna, gonna come down to um, defense and rebounding on the possessions that you have defense. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. 11 missed free throws, huh? 50 percent. Wow. <laughs> See if the Roadrunners take some time off the clock with this possession. Stevenson. Yep, taking their time. Consularis. Just like they're doing, they're going to drive the ball. Trying to get an inside possession right here. Consularis turns against Traore and yep. scores. Yep. Consularis, he, I like it. He, he likes to play with his back to the basket. Yep. Very strong and decisive move. He's a European type big man. Shoots the ball outside, but also puts it down and backs you in. Got you down by three now. Gaucho's playing against the zone. Got to get somebody up in the middle. Mitchell to Pierre Louis. Six on the shot clock. Josh going in hard. And Josh, jump ball, possession, arrow, Cal State Bakersfield. Well, we're looking at it again here, guys. Pierre Louis got tied up inside. Yeah. Terrific play by Stevenson for Cal State Bakersfield. That's a good drive by Josh, but the wrong shot. You know, I would love I would love when you you know guys I know they're trying to take away the mid-range but you know it's there 
is yep. there. And for a guy like Josh, who's so athletic, well, as soon as you get a guy leaning like that, you stop and pop right over him. And I think Ben and uh, Mitchell will do that. Josh yeah. usually tries to take it all the way. Oh. Stevenson fouled on the drive. And that's going to be on Ariel Bland. Bland. 2.42 left to go, guys. 45-42. The Gauchos have been real close. Yes. Even tied, but as O.J. said, they have not led tonight. Stevenson's the only one that's been to the free throw line tonight for the road line. Cole yep. comes in for Ben. Stevenson so. is two for four from the free throw line. That is Bakersfield output at the free throw line. The Gauchos are 11 for 22. Stevenson missed and marked oh, the offensive rebound. Believe it. 17 offensive <laughs> rebounds. Oh my goodness. Mm. 38 rebounds total for for Cal State Bakersfield. 17, 17 on the offensive end. On the offensive end. And Kotzler has no look pass to Mark. Oh, who scores? Wow. Just before the shot clock buzzer. 47-42, 2.15 left. Gauchos trail by five. Get it over. Oh, my goodness. What are we doing? Better hurry, and they do. Yeah. Sorry, Jerry. You That's to okay. Your ear. Oh, That's all right. Here's Josh. Gives up the three. Drive the back. See if they look for Cole Anderson. Here's Mitchell along two. He got it. And the Gauchos are going to call a quick timeout here. That gives them two timeouts remaining. And we'll keep it right here with one rebounding is, is what it's at now for the Gauchos on defense. Yeah. Playing defense without fouling and getting the rebound. Yeah. Gauchos one and three in the Big West. Cal State Bakersfield 0 and three in the Big West. And UCSB has won seven straight against Cal State Bakersfield. Here's Mark sending it to Stevenson. Slammed no up. contest. No mm. contest. Wow. Bland gets it across the half court line. Gaucho's now down on. by five. Get, dribble the gaps. Zone defense. Dribble the gaps. Yaskin that time hit Mitchell. Here's a dangerous pass inside. Traore had it blocked, but a, no, it's out of bounds. No foul. Nice block by Cancelaris. As you see the offensive rebounds, there's 17 for Cal State Bakersfield, yeah. 10 for the Gauchos. Yeah. Cole Anderson back. You hear the Cal State Bakersfield bench yelling, shooter, shooter, when it comes to oh, yeah. Cole Anderson. Ooh. Come on. 1.22 left to go. Five on the shot Battle. clock. Mitchell hoists a desperation shot. Short rebound, Josh Pierre-Louise knocked down. Time now up. they tie him up. Or did Josh get a timeout in? Oh, he, wow. did. Yeah, he did. Man. Mm. They're gonna get it doesn't necessarily have to be a three. No, you know? no, so, no. So if they're able to get a, a driving layup or something at the basket, we'll take that all day. They just go down and you just need to get it to stop. To Mitchell to inbound for the Gauchos. They need a basket here. Got to get it in quickly. He does to Bland. It's tipped to Traore. Anderson hoists it long two, and he got it. There you go. Oh, Traore hit the floor hard and is holding his right hip. Oh, my goodness. That was... Yeah, he went down hard. A hard fall. I don't know if he tripped over himself or if he tripped over somebody. That's a long way down for a big fellow like oh, him. Oh, yeah. So now we got four guards plus uh, Ariel Bland in there. Yeah, they will try and get the ball back yeah. for the Gauchos. Yeah. UCSB has one timeout left. Rod Barnes has two timeouts. Oh, he was there. With some pressure Whoa, in the backcourt. that court. was an offensive foul. A lot of contact. Now here comes McGee. He'll back it out. Gauchos do not want a foul here. No. And they foul. 
Did they need it? I don't think they needed a foul. No. They could have played that out. Only down three. They could have played it out. Ooh. 47 seconds left. 49-46. Yeah. yeah. That's the 18th on the foul on the Gauchos. Step of Minaki's down. On the season, on the season, I think he's shooting 75. And he hasn't shot one tonight, OJ. He Higgins. hasn't shot one tonight. No. But on the season, he shoots 75%. Yep. yep. So we'll see. I just thought they didn't really need to foul. No. And Higgins has been quiet most of the game, so you know this could be big if he's able to capitalize right here. One and one free throw. They missed their last one and one and got the rebound. Yeah. So Higgins, first free throw for him in the game. Good. Four point lead. All net right there. Yep, point guard. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to take care of the ball at the end and they're supposed to okay. make their free throws. Yeah. And this is a frustrating night for the Gauchos, for sure. Higgins second. Good. Cancelaris back in for Cal State Bakersfield. Higgins goes to the bench. So Cancelaris back in, coach. 51-46. Gauchos have to face this press again. Get it. Advance it. Advance it. Cole, shoot it. There you go. Anderson, three. Good. There you go. Five straight points for Cole Anderson and go. a timeout, UCSB. There you go. There you go, baby. He got their last timeout. Eight shots. Shot. Yeah. And those were two good open shots that he took there. Yeah. All right. See who they're going to get to catch it. Don't foul number one. But yeah. Uh, he's coming back for the ball. Oh, somebody. Oh, that's, the guy, that's the guy. That's the guy. Yeah, you got a foul. That's foul. the guy. That's the guy they want. Yeah, foul. he's two for four. Three. Uh, Stevenson, right? Two yep. for four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy they want to foul. Now, anyway. is he the one that he's missed the last one? Sixty-one percent free throw shooter, coach. Sixty-one yep. percent this season. It's still a one and one. That was the 19th foul on the Gauchos. So Stevenson has to make the first to get the second. If he misses, the Gauchos are down by two. But remember, UCSB is out of timeouts. And Cal State Bakersfield has two timeouts. A one and one free throw. Mm. <laughs> Nothing but net. Man. Good play. It's a three-point game. Gauchos. Gauchos got to hurry it up now and get up there for a two or a three, whatever they can get quickly. Still got a chance. If he misses, get the rebound and the push. Thank mm. both of them. Big time. And shot. now four-point right. timeout. By Barnes Baker's wants a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Anderson's long two-point field goal a few moments ago guys and then that three-pointer those are his only five points of the game hey it's not, it's not about it. when you do it it's, it's about it. make, getting it done so yep here's mitchell now 30 seconds to go gaucho's down by four now here is cole or check that that was stolzberg here is pierre louis going Ooh. in slam dunk Ooh. On, two point steal. Steal. Get, get a steal get a steal, get a steal. And timeout, Cal State Bakersfield. That's the last one for Rod Barnes. Man. Nice play here, Josh ah. Pierre Louis. Jump. Yep. So the Gauchos have every player in the backcourt ready to press. Four guards and Averill. And Joe Pasternak's team. Come up with a miracle here. Here's oh, Higgins, and he's fouled. Let him go down the outside. Mm. Let him go down the outside. Yeah. Higgins, a very good free throw shooter, will go to the line. 
So two free throws for Caleb Higgins. 15.8 seconds to go. If he makes them both, that's going to put the Gauchos in a very difficult position. Difficult he kind of had to foul him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he let him go on the outside. Yeah. You always want to force him back to the middle, but he, you got to foul him, stop yeah. the clock. Yeah. Under 16 seconds, you absolutely have to foul. Two point, Cal State Bakersfield lead. Higgins trying to make it three. And does. Yep. That's what point guards do handle the ball and make free throws. Higgins second is good, a four-point Cal State Bakersfield lead. Kanslaris in, and Higgins out for the Roadrunners. 15.8 seconds to go. The Gauchos need to get up a quick shot. Coach, now, do they need a three it. here? Take it. Well, if they can get a good three right off the bat, otherwise a two to the bucket. Here is Anderson. Three out of the corner is good. One-point oh, yeah, game with eight right and a half away. seconds to oh, go. Right away. Jump. Oh, jump ball is jump ball is called, and it's UCSB's wow. possession. I, I told you, don't matter if you've been 0 for 8, <laughs> 0 for 2, shoot the ball, baby. Big time Boy, shot, Cole. I'll Big tell you what, shot. the Bakersfield bench is furious. They, That's what shooters do. It looked oh, like they shoot. It looked yeah. like AJ Mitchell was trying to commit a foul there, yeah. and the whistle never blew. But yeah. he got the ball, and he had his hands on the ball, so. 6.4 seconds 6 to go. 6.4, Gauchos are one down. They need a bucket or some free throws. Here it is to A.J. Mitchell, Take the Big it, West AJ. Player of the Year last year. Mitchell is good! Oh. One second left! That's what you do. The Gauchos have That's won the game! That's what you do. Oh. oh, are they calling a foul? They haven't won yet. They're calling a foul on UCSB in the backcourt on A.J. Mitchell. With UCSB up by a charge with one second left. Just let him go. You make it if he makes that from McKee has feet, not shot a free ahead. throw tonight. He's six and not he's six for nine on the season as well, Jared. Yeah. It's a one and one. It's a one and one. No, it's two. Is it? And he's got the first. Point four seconds to go. No timeouts for either team. I'm actually surprised, guys, that that whistle even blew against AJ. Yeah. It was 65 feet from the basket or so. If he misses this, we'll have overtime. If he makes it, Cal State oh. Bakersfield is in all likelihood going to win its first Big yep. West game. Yep. Oh. Here's McGee. Overtime. Overtime. That one barely rolled out. Now, Gauchos, you got, was it, was it five minutes? You got five minutes. Bakersfield was that close to winning it on that field, that free throw that fell off. And the Gauchos win the toss. All right, they're in man-to-man -man defense. Man-to-man, oh. -man. they've been in zone most of the second half, but man-to-man -man right now. Screen on the ball. Mitchell looking for somebody, he finds Pierre Louis. Josh spinning, lost the oh. ball, out of bounds to Bakersfield. A little bit out of control, Josh. Got to stay under control down in that paint. Man-to-man -man defense for the Gauchos also. Yep. Stevenson Tried to get with it. Over the top pass. Dribble drive. And gets it to Gaskin, or to McGee between the circles. Now to Gaskin. Six on the shot clock. Gaskin going against A.J. Mitchell. Kicks it. 
to Mark. He's going to have to hurry. Fires. No good. Rebound Mitchell. Mitchell. AJ sends it up the floor. Here's Anderson. Boy, how big was Cole Anderson late oh, in regulation? Yep. Yep. Those, those last two minutes was the Cole Anderson show before yep. AJ hit that big shot. Mitchell. Gaucho's lead by two. You gotta love it. You gotta love it when big time yep. players make big time plays. Yep. The same tactics by Bakersfield. They're smart. They're using the time, using the clock, trying to dribble drive, get a good matchup, and dribble drive. Here's McGee trying to tie the game and does with a nice baseline jumper. Yep. He hasn't lost his confidence after missing that free throw. No. Mm -hmm. Big time shot. Good move by, yeah. by McGee. McGee. Ooh. Uh -oh. Here's Mitchell losing Ballon it. Cole. And Gaskin oh. slams it down. Two point Roadrunner lead. And Mitchell just doesn't have his legs like normal. That's just AJ's second turnover of the game. Here is Pierre Louis now. 242 left to go. Anderson three. Good. Ooh. Paul Anderson is red hot. But if you didn't see, you seen Ariel set that back screen. Nice, they got Cole wide nice open. Nice pass by Josh. To great, great shooting pass. pocket. Nice great pass. pass. Hit him right in the, the hands where you, all you got to do is go right up. Yep. And 61 60 Gauchos. 220 left. Ball. In the corner, they go to Mark. He's not going to shoot from downtown. Almost stolen by Pierre Louis. Almost got that steal. Here is McGee. Three. No good. Rebound. Traore. Good to see AJ. Excuse me. Good to see Johan in there after yep. he landed hard on his hip. Yep. Okay. Less than two minutes to go. Gauchos looking Moving to add. Now the 2 3 zone. Back into the 2 3 zone. Here is Pierre Louis. And now a long three by. Yep, Anderson was blocked. We should have faked the Blocked shot. by Mark. Here's McGee going in hard. Missed it. Out of bounds. Off of Bakersfield. Would have been a perfect time to fake and drive it, wouldn't it? Because you know they're going to be over guarding him now. Higgins back in. And McGee goes out. 137 left. Both teams have a timeout. Just use your dribble. Just use your dribble. I am surprised Bakersfield didn't go into a more of a, a full court press as many problems as the Gauchos have had with it tonight. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm surprised with you, Jerry, because that's definitely has thrown the Gauchos' rhythm off every time they've been in that zone. Ah, Gauchos' pass is knocked away by Stevenson. <laughs> Here's Gaskin. <laughs> Too bad. Higgins gets by Mitchell, lays it Ooh. up and in. AJ couldn't foul. He has no. four fouls. Yep. Bakersfield by a point. I mean, I'm not sure why they stopped the clock here. No idea why they, or what happened here. Here's the drive by Higgins, and a beautiful drive by Higgins. Very nice. AJ could not foul him. He has four fouls, I think, doesn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Fontenet coming in for Ariel Bland. Gaucho's down by a point. Another three-point shooter and a driver. Jason Fontenet. Gaucho's down one with 106 to play. Mm -hmm. Mitchell across the timeline. One minute. Again, both teams have one timeout remaining. Here's Mitchell now. Gaskin bumps him. No call. Fontenet to Mitchell on top. Gets a screen from Traore. Mitchell lays it up and in. Oh, what a nice beautiful shot. layup by A.J. Mitchell. Tough shot. Stretched out. 63-62 and 41. And both players, both teams have a timeout. Crowd chanting defense. Here is Mark on top. Gaskin back to Mark. Lost it out of bounds, but it goes off of UCSB. Ooh, I think that bounced off Johan. Yeah, 
Bland coming back for Cole Anderson for UCSB. In line out of bounds. 26.7 seconds. Yep, Gaskin to inbound. Gets it into Higgins, and Higgins was fouled by Josh Pierre-Louis. Oh, two, yeah, two free throws coming up for Cal State Bakersfield for Higgins. He can't foul with a one-point lead. The ball out of bounds, can't foul. 26 seconds left, 26.1 to be exact. 63-62, Gauchos by one, but that lead in jeopardy here. Higgins at the line tonight. Now this stat sheet is wrong. It says he doesn't have any free throws. He does. Five and for five. We are tied. Five for five. Thank you, OJ. Yeah. Point guard doing his job. Traore comes out. Anderson back in for the Gauchos. See if Coach Pasternak takes a timeout if Higgins makes this. I think so. Got it. Now the Gauchos may advance the ball up into the front court and then Coach Pasternak may call timeout. We'll see. Mitchell was hit in the back court there. No yes, call. He was. No call. Nope, no timeout. Here is Josh. Back to AJ. Long three. Back rim, no good. Rebound. Pierre Louis tries to keep it alive. It's against the table over here. No, no. Out of bounds. Off of UCSB. Off of UCSB. And I think they're going to review it. Nine shows are down by one. And they will inbound from the near sideline with Josh Pierre Louis. So Josh. Plays it in. Here's A.J. Mitchell. They're in that 2-3 two, three, two, three zone. Two, three zone. Mitchell taking it in. Mitchell leaves it for Fontenet. Fontenet lays Big it up. Good. He's fouled. Big it counts. Side. Offensive foul? No. And one. Fontenet gets an and one. Oh, good. An and one. Three seconds remaining. So this to give the Gauchos a two-point lead. Now, if he misses... And Bakersfield rebounds, and I would assume Cal State Bakersfield will call a quick timeout. And he makes it. So no timeout for Cal State Bakersfield. Three seconds remaining. Here comes Gaskin. He calls a quick timeout with one oh, second remaining. One second. One second left. So they are, in fact, going to take a timeout yeah, with one, one second, second remaining. One second. The officials will look at the front of us. So right in front of us, even though they call timeout over here. Now they're going to let him move even closer to the basket on this inbound. Uh, I don't know here we go. Out. Neither team with a timeout. Woo! They get it into Higgins. He'll launch for the win. Ooh. No good. Gauchos oh. pull it out. Wow. Gauchos pull it out at the end. 66-64, UCSB That's with a, a thrill.